Paul continues in verse 17. And he says, But to the king of the ages, Paul is referring to God, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the king of the ages, the one who is the sovereign, the monarch, the one who has royal dominion, government, rule, and territory. He has the power. God is the king pertaining to the ages, the durations of life or lifetimes, all ages. And God is incorruptible. He is not capable of decaying. God is in the state of incorruption. And God is unseen. He is not perceived with the eyes of mankind so as to be understood in our minds. God is not perceived with the eyes of men, not even for an instant. God is Holy Spirit. Now Jesus Christ, we know, has been seen by the eyes of mankind, and he will at a future time again, when he returns on the earth, will be seen by the eyes, physical eyes of mankind. However, God, his Father, and our Father, is unseen. He is not perceived by the physical eyes of mankind. God is the only God, or God alone. There is no other God. And God is, Paul expresses, honor. To God is the honor, the estimation of being valuable. God is deemed to be worthy of Christ. And God is the one to be and to receive glory, importance, splendor, and renown when? Into the ages of the ages. That is the durations of lifetime into or throughout all durations of lifetimes. Not just one age, but all the time, all ages. And Paul finishes by saying, with certainty, amen, surely, truly. To the king of the ages, incorruptible, unseen, only God is the honor and the glory into the ages of the ages with certainty. Continuing in verses 18 through 20 of chapter 1 of First Timothy, Paul again calls Timothy a child, as in verse 2 that we looked at earlier. And again, that's in the figurative usage of being an affectionate term of endearment. Paul says, this charge I put beside you. I place this message alongside you, Timothy. I press it from myself to you. So this charge I put beside you, Timothy, child. According to the prophecies leading forth on you. What are prophecies? Prophecies refers to God's words being spoken or uttered forth to a person or people by the one prophesying. So in relation to Timothy, what Paul is saying is I charge, I put beside you this charge, Timothy, my child, according to the prophecies, according to those prophecies that were spoken forth, preceding or going before you, those words of prophecies that were leading you. They are showing you the way that you should go. The prophecies were in regards to Timothy. For the purpose and result that you would serve as a soldier in them. Serve as a soldier in the prophecies. How? The beautiful soldiery. And now we need to notice here that Paul uses military terminology and that usage of military terminology draws attention to the truth that all holy people including Paul including Timothy including all of us who are holy people are in a battle 
are a war against an opposing side, which is, of course, under the leadership of the devil, of Satan. We, holy people, are on God's side. We are in God's soldiery. Paul says, This charge I put beside you, child Timothy, according to the prophecies leading forth on you. Why? For the purpose and result that you would serve as a soldier. Put yourself in service. As though you were in a battle, in a war, within the sphere of action of these prophecies. Thereby you would be soldiering, performing the activity of being a soldier in the military service with a manifested decorous and harmonious goodness, that beautiful soldiery, having belief. That's how, would we, that's how we would soldier or serve as being a soldier in that beautiful soldiery, by having belief, having that faith, the information that God gives you to believe, having that trust, relative to God and what he says, and a good conscience. And we saw that in verse 5, the good conscience. And Paul again says that some people have thrust away from them, and so they have shipwrecked themselves concerning the belief. So some people pushed away, they repulsed, they rejected the good conscience and they shipwrecked around or about the belief, that faith, with reference to trusting God. They hit against God's belief and so as a result they broke themselves. They caused themselves to be shipwrecked. They broke or hurt their bodies, their vessels around God's belief, of whom Paul shows us an example of whom is Hymenius and Alexander, whom I gave over to Satan. 